Hey there, it's Aaron. Today what I'm going to do is create a series of 16 images here in Night Cafe, which I believe is using Stable Diffusion 2.1 as the rendering model. But I'm going to generate 16 headshots and then we're going to bring it into Photoshop and use Generative Fill to fill out the entire, I want to do a head to toe full body portrait of a figure. So I'm going to go here into Create go to the advanced prompt editor and here is the prompt that I had already put in um, editorial photograph of a 35 year old woman from the 1940s one woman solo in frame etc um, but I'm going to change a couple of things here just for interest we will change it to a 25 year old man from the 1970s okay so and we'll make sure it says one man and let's just scan through the rest to make sure it's relevant to a male one man solo in frame charming smile inside a bright room extremely detailed eyes detailed symmetric realistic face extremely detailed natural texture peach fuzz messy hair masterpiece I think I'm going to take out messy hair I've run that I've used that many times now I'm kind of bored with it and Masterpiece, absurd, award-winning photo by Lee Jeffries, and that is going to give the overall character of the image. So, I'm over here going to, here it is, Stable Diffusion 1.5, let's make it 2.1. And, I'm going to generate 16 images for us, using my credits here, and I'll make them this mobile vertical, so that I'm going to get a decent amount of body to begin with. And let's go ahead and generate those. And Night Cafe is great. I find that their version here generates these incredibly photorealistic faces. And it seems to be a different outcome that I get here compared to using Stable Diffusion 2.1 in Leonardo.ai, for example. So I'm not sure about the outcome here, but let's just roll through these. Number one two, different, three, all right, that's sort of like definitely a natural, you know, university photo album kind of thing, I guess our negative prompt didn't get rid of that, that's a fail, that's pretty cool, also cool, nah, I don't think so, that looks like a real photo, not so much, that one, something not right. That's very realistic. I think we should take this gentleman right here. So I'm going to go ahead and download him. And let's open him up in the Photoshop. So here we go. And we have a nice amount of pixels for the AI to work with. Let's see what kind of a size we're working with here. So it's 384 by 704 so while I'm in here let us make it <clears throat> I'm going to make it 800 by 2400 and that may be too much extra height but we will see that should at least get a full body in here so I'm going to do it not all at once I'll do it in pieces and I'm going to start by I'm going to start by finishing him off here on this side, like so. Select my area, generate fill for here. I think that's really a great image. Nice detail, even on a low resolution rendering. The teeth are good, that's often an issue. Um, I still didn't get him the whole way over. Let's finish this off if we can. But it did do a great job here on that shoulder. Carried it over nicely. Same sort of creasing here. I think that is awesome. Matches this side. Perfect. Now we have a full shoulder. I still think I'm going to give it the, um, the full treatment over here so that when I do the next piece down below it it will bring a, an arm into play here, I'm thinking. It may. 
a lot of times what it'll do is crossed arms and I think maybe I don't know if that is its way around the fact that it does not do a good job of rendering hands. I don't think anybody that uses AI for generating images will say that AI does a good job on hands. So our choices are to use this shot with the corner in the background, which I think does add some depth to it and some realism. I wish it was a little bit less plain there, but let's roll with that because it does make it look even more realistic. So I'm going to do the first fill here, and I don't know if that will get all of the shirt in there, but I'd like to do that, and then we'll do the legs. Now, I'll say that we may come across an error here where I find that if I try to generate too many, then the more I generate, the more likely I am to get this, which is saying that it's something is going against guidelines in terms of copyright, but that seems to be from where they're pulling their images from Adobe. So here is a version, and the guideline error came up on the third version, so we only have two. Number one, number two. Let's look at the placement of the elbow here. It looks a little short to me, unfortunately, because I, I kind of like this shirt more, but we'll take it. It is natural looking, and hey, he's the one wearing the clothes, not me. It's his outfit choice. I'm going to see if I can get rid of that short cuff, though, over here with my next fill. And we'll get the upper part of his legs, or he may be seated in one or more of the variations. It's because it kind of looks like it's going to... You know that he is seated there. We'll see how it interprets it. Happy looking guy. He's just happy to be here. So it is being a little bit lazy and it's giving us like uh, either we'll say vintage photo treatment or it's just getting lazy at this point. So I'm going to say that we aren't happy with any of those and I'm going to generate again. Now, even though we just had those issues, I'm going to go ahead and select this whole large area and see what happens. Perhaps I didn't give it enough space for it to deal with and it tried to cram too much into that one area. But I know one thing, he's not wearing a dress. This, this guy is definitely wearing a shirt and I would expect some pants. So here we go. This is more in line with what I think we would all be expecting, except that now his proportions are not quite right. Let's see this variation. Ah, that sort of hides hides issues. Let's see this one. This just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's like I'll kind of take the hands, but it doesn't make sense with the legs. And look at those mangled AI hands. So. To finish off the image, we could say just like that. And now let's change the size of the canvas. Let's just change it so that it's more filled out here. We'll do a 1 to 2 ratio of 1200 to 2400. Get some space on either side here. And so why don't we try this? Why don't we try taking it from here all the way over? See if we can get rid of some of that messiness and some of that blurriness here. Generate. Because there aren't any hands there, that's for sure. It really isn't apparent what's going on with the like a chair and a table and something on the table. That's fine. So here it is saying the same thing that I just did and putting some glassware and another chair sort of beside it. That isn't bad. Finishes it off with some foreground blur and that is just very plain. So let's say this. It's starting to feel like he's working in, uh, or either he's going as a patron or he's cleaning up at this place just based on his attire, he's not well dressed for a restaurant, that's for sure. I mean, again, these are his choices, they aren't mine, so who am I to judge a man's attire? Let's zoom in here on what it just did. And really what it did for us was 
blended in a background really seamlessly with the rest of the image. It wasn't overly creative, but we don't really want to be taking away from his face anyway. We just wanted to give him some character. And that did a great job, I think. Carrying over the detail here compared to here is nice. A little bit too blousy. And that's not bad. So let's zoom back out here and pick between number one and number three. I think it should be number one because it does make it more of a snapshot kind of feel. It's not quite perfect composition. And yeah, there you go. So we ended up with a pretty happy customer. I think that we did a good job here. Uh, there he is. And by bringing a body into the scene, we have given this guy some personality and uh, I'd like to meet him. I'm going to go say hi to him. If you enjoy this video, then like and subscribe. You encourage me to make more of them and I will see you the next time.